that is the learning skills of biology whenever we are dealing with writing questions everyone but in the second answer can you see the mistakes are highlighted so you have to write answers correctly hello everyone welcome to allen overseas as our 10th board exams are around the corner and most of the students are facing a query that how to attempt the paper and what i have to write when questions are there so today i am going to give you some tips and tricks about how to attempt biology paper let's go everyone when we are dealing with this the very important part is our syllabus right now okay so we have unit number 2 that is world of living and it has the highest weighted in a paper everyone okay total 25 marks questions are coming from this unit and it includes life processes control and coordination reproduction and heredity and evolution next unit we have is unit 5 that is natural resources its weighted is of 5 marks and it includes two chapters that is our environment and management of natural resources and this chapter management of natural resources is especially included in your internal assessment when we are talking about this whole syllabus most importantly we have to remember the unit 2 world of living it has a deleted part of syllabus that includes evolution okay now let's move on to the major query which students are facing that is the learning skills of biology being a theoretical subject what is important in biology two major aspects everyone the first is theoretical part when you are dealing with the theory well thorough with the definitions go with the flow chart and line diagrams for your quick revisions and be aware about the differences there in your ncrt the reasoning questions and the concepts of biology the second aspect of our subject is diagrams diagrams which makes the backbone of our biology you have to practice diagrams thoroughly and when we are talking about diagrams maximum diagrams are there in two major chapters which are life processes and reproduction everyone then when you once you are practicing the diagram second aspect label diagram properly you have to label them nicely and mention figure right now the major question if we revise the top topic and the questions are coming in exam how to write let's see whenever we are dealing with writing questions everyone read the question carefully and understand what is asked in question second important aspect answer according to the weightage okay don't write everything which you know answer according to the weightage given to the question then in questions having internal choices read both the questions completely then decide which part you can answer to gain full marks and is taking less time to attempt sometimes students don't read the optional question okay so you have to read both the questions in the internal choices and wisely decide which you are aware about completely giving you full marks and is taking less time okay now avoid writing long paragraphs write answer in points being a theoretical subject it's very important for you to write these answer in points and keep the information coherent okay then be careful while writing terminologies learn spellings well for theory and for labeling of type okay underline the important terms by pencil to highlight so that your examiner will know that yes the question about which i asked student answered it correctly okay now use the flow chart mentioned for explanation wherever it's required okay and mention examples to support your answers whenever you can if they are asking you about food web food chain give them example to support your answers everyone then leave a line in between every point 
leaving a line will improve your presentation right then whenever you are writing answers remember avoid overwriting if you make mistake cut it by a single line to keep your answers presentation neat and clean for an example have a look same question define nutrition students are writing answers in two ways the very first answer where the student highlighted their mistake but in the second answer can you see the mistakes are highlighted not at all why because they are cut by a single line okay then when you are writing answers what you have to do answer numbering should be according to paper don't change the numbering of answers according to your will let's take an example if it is a question number 21 in your science paper which has two sub part first part is asking for what is photosynthesis second part is asking write balanced equation of photosynthesis and how students are answering this let's see answer number 1 no this is answer number 21 so answer numbering should be correct then in sub parts student mention a and b again incorrect method second answer 21 correct but the sub part a and b no okay so you have to write answers correctly answer numbering is same according to the question they asked okay then as i told you the backbone of biology is diagrams okay so draw a well labeled diagram neatly and mention it by pencil then at least use half page for diagram and label it correctly and label only that what is asked in question okay and mention the examples right i hope you guys have understood these tips and tricks sure everyone so If you still have any queries leave your queries in the comment box and we'll try to reach you as soon as possible and for more videos like this stay tuned with us and all the best everyone